Hey everyone, welcome back. Hey everyone, welcome back. Hey everyone, welcome back. Hey everyone, welcome back. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back. Hey everyone, welcome back. Dan and Leslie here. Ha, ah, that feels <laughs> different. You look so good. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to our home tour video. This is an update from the home tour of the empty house that we did and the home tour of us kind of moving in and piecing together some things. Yes, I'm so excited to show you guys what we have done so far. We still have a ways to go for it to be perfect. Um, well, our form of perfect, I guess, but, um, but we wanna show you what we've done so far because we're so excited about the things that we've changed and updated and all of that. If you're liking the Moving to Orlando series, thanks so much. Please give us a like and a subscribe if you don't mind. Also check out our podcast. We publish Addicted to the Mouse twice weekly on Sundays and Wednesday nights. We have been doing it for five years. We love doing it. We talk all things Disney, some things Universal, cruise lines, everything in between, but come check us out over there. Yep, and if you are looking to plan a vacation, you can check us out at Fantastical Vacations dot com. All right, let's, let's do the do tour. It. All right, so a little bit of behind the scenes in our studio. This has had the most work done to it, probably. Yeah. Can you say? Yeah. This has probably had the most work done to it since we moved in. Um, still need to do some cord management here, but what do you think? Yeah, so this is kind of exciting. It's like right whenever you walk in the front door and it doesn't always look like this. Right now it's set up for video videoing. Um, but we can actually push that light against the wall. So what we have here is a boom pole, which is how we get the really good clear audio when we're sitting on the couch recording. This uh, impact rolling stand, um, this allows us to put it right over us as we're recording. And then I've got a monitor on here that we can see ourselves, because like right now I can see myself on this little tiny screen right there <laughs> on the camera. Camera. Well, we don't know really what it looks like, right. so we have um, the decorations behind us, but if you've been watching the videos, you've been kind of seeing those. So this isn't so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so our front door is actually behind the camera, but this is the first thing that you see when you walk into the house. So we wanted to make it functional, we wanted to make it a place where we could quickly set up and have some really excellent lighting and audio uh, so we could, we could record. We wanted to also be able to do our podcast, so when we record our podcast, we both sit here just like we are when we are recording video, um, and we wanted to do that because eventually we may um, re record the podcast and put that on YouTube as well. Yep. And then we have, uh, well, we I say we very loosely, and that Dan has created this gear wall over here, which is really nice because we have a, just like a bunch of stuff that didn't really have a home, it didn't have a place, and there were cords and wires and just things. And so um, this is almost complete. We're waiting on a delivery of two little hooks to put on the wall. But they actually got delivered earlier today, oh, so I'm gonna do that later. Yeah, and so we're gonna finish that, but it kind of just gets everything up off the floor and where we don't have to cram it in at a cabinet somewhere, so. Yeah, and I thought it's kind of a cool aesthetic, I yeah. think. Yeah. So. Um, throughout the house, we wanted to go with, um, it, it's very much like a cream color pattern with white trim everywhere. So we wanted to bring in some metals, um, so black especially. So we've got a lot of black, the black yeah. gear wall, the black metal here, the black umbrella. Um, 
This light is new, so that is black. We wanted to, it was a dining room chandelier when we moved in and we're not using it as a dining room, so. And Dan hit his head no less than 15 Oh my minutes. gosh, it was like down so. here. <laughs> so uh, we needed to get it up and then we also wanted to accent the stuff that we wanted people to look at. So the gear yeah. wall, this whole display over here. Yep. Um, the lighting for us was very important in this room, not necessarily just for people walking in, but for like video. The video, yep. And so there are some gold accents on that. I'm not sure if you can see that very well in the video, but we have um, incorporated gold accents throughout the house as well, which you'll see more of. Yeah, and the, the rest of the lighting in here, so let's say I mentioned this key light, it is on a swivel boom arm here. So this is what we use to light ourselves when we are doing a video. This is actually really, really nice because you can change the color temperature. So there's a lot of windows in this space and if it's dark outside, we can make it a little warmer with this light um, or cooler, vice versa. And then back here, this is, Oh yeah. This is a really cool. Um, so these little lights right here, I've got four of them and I can match any color on my phone. And so usually what I'll do is when Leslie wears a colored shirt, I will match the color of the light to her shirt. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So, um, and then the other thing that we want to do in this room is we're going to change out the curtains um, eventually. And I don't know if we will keep curtains or if we will, um, if we keep curtains, we'll probably move the curtain rods up uh, closer to the ceiling but that's still yet to be decided. So mm -hmm. future project. And then as we're recording podcast, everything is recorded on this Rode Procaster. So this is basically a digital mixing board. And so this thing lifts up and we've got um, our audio interface right here. So as we're recording, We've got usually have microphones on and we're talking to each other and we've got our notes here and then the soundboard is here. I can play our um, intro and outro music and it is all just really handy. Yeah. So we've done some really exciting things in here, I feel like. Um, so we changed out all of the pendant lights, which I think we showed on the last video because we did that before you went back to Oklahoma. Um, and then we changed out this light as well. We have our, um, our new table from Pottery Barn that we absolutely love and then those chairs that kind of match the um, the bar stools here and then this was quite intensive of a day <laughs> <laughs> but we changed out the um, the faucet to this black instead which I absolutely love um, and it's just amazing. The other things that we did in here is I added under and over cabinet lighting to these two wa uh, walls and that was a bit of a chore just because of the blocking that's in between the vertical studs because you have to get in there. Um, so I wanted to hide the receptacles in the cabinets to wires, you don't see a bunch of wires for those lights. Um, but those are really handy and then eventually I'd probably add them here um, on either side of the stove and then possibly back there in that little butler's pantry area. Um, and then the other thing that we did was we upgraded the thermostats to Nest thermostats. We did that a long time ago so that we could monitor the house from back in Oklahoma. Okay, so we absolutely love this living room. This is our favorite room in the house, probably, I yeah. think. So um, we are super, super happy with this. This couch, everything works so well together. We showed you putting together and hanging this frame TV, which we're in love with, um, back in December, I think it was, but we didn't show you the mirror that we just recently hung beside it. We did this, uh, we wanted something that had some gold so it would match with the other light fixtures around, but we wanted something that would, um, reflect the light because there wasn't any lights on this side of the room except for the TV which is hardly ever on. One thing that we didn't mention in the last video is um, or the last part of the house in the kitchen was our diffuser if you saw that off to the um, side there. I am in love with this thing. I actually got it for Christmas from my mom and dad and got a bunch of oils from my nieces and we purchased more oils and we literally run this thing every single day. We just love having all of the Disney smells in our house. Um, we are so, smelling Walt's office right now. Yes, we are. It's, it's just simply lovely. <laughs> so, um, so we brought some pieces from our old life um, into this room. So we have the wolves on the table there that we got from Grand Wolf, uh, Great Wolf Lodge at one point. Uh, we got this giraffe um, whenever we were at Disney World one time. And then we had these um, cowhide chairs that we just kind of absolutely loved. So our house back in Oklahoma was a little bit more rustic and um, much more darker tones, uh, but we wanted to pull that in and kind of have some like almost surprising pops 
uh, for a Florida home. Yeah, and the last thing, the most recent thing that we've done in this room is hang this nonsense behind <laughs> us. We spent an inordinate amount of time researching, purchasing, and hanging this thing. So these curtains and this curtain rod. Um, I think it turned out really, really good, but it took a lot of time. We've had multiple quotes and it is expensive to get curtains. So we ended up just <laughs> doing it ourselves. We ordered um, both of those online, custom made, and I think it turned out really, really well, but it did take a while. It did. There's a reason that you pay premium pricing for people to hang your curtains. Yes. <laughs> we have a, a blank wall here that we are very excited. Um, one of our agents actually is a um, abstract artist. And so we have challenged her with a kind of a cool, fun, maybe Disney spin on some abstract art uh, that she has been working on for us. And so we should hopefully get that soon. We will definitely, um, it'll be in the next update whenever we do a walkthrough um, and we'll post pictures on Instagram and, and everything whenever that comes. But we're very excited to be able to put that right there. So Dan said that the living room was our favorite room in the house, but if you consider this area a room, I'm gonna actually say this is probably our favorite room. We spend the majority of our time here. We do working, um, we work pretty much every morning out here on our back patio. Uh, we'll eat dinner at night, um, sitting here watching the television with the kids or just talking. So it's this is really an area that we are excited to maximize even more as the weather gets warmer and the pool gets warmer and we have those beautiful Florida sunny days. Okay, so welcome to our master bedroom. This room still has a little bit of work left to be done. We've got some painting to do on this wall. Um, there's nothing on this wall, which is why you're not seeing it right now, but we're very, very proud of these two walls. So this painting was in our living room. It is um, a Disney painting. If you were to look closely, there are a bunch of Disney characters and maybe you can see the uh, Mickey head, the giant Mickey head in that golden oak right there in the center. Love that painting. We had to find a place for it and it just didn't go out in the main living room. Yep. And then uh, Dan discovered these other paintings or uh, prints that are behind us on this other wall that because we have the travel agency, we wanted a little bit of a nod to that. And so one of them says fly to Neverland and the other one says escape to Montanui. Yes. I love that seating area. We don't just sit in here very yeah. often, but it looks just like a little escape. And that is one of my favorite little touches that we've done so far are the Disney prints above that little seating area. Yep. And then in the corner we have um, a cabinet that is holding all the little knickknacks that we couldn't bear to part with quite yet. Um, and so that's kind of like our little, our little knickknack spot. All right, we have one more room to show you and this one I'm pretty excited for. I'm pretty excited. Welcome to our guest bedroom. This is the Harry Potter room. We love this room so much. Um, so everything in here is kind of a nod to Harry Potter. We have an awesome platform nine and three quarters ticket on the back wall here and um, the sheets and the, the pillow and the blanket. All of that is Harry Potter. We've got some um, phrases from movie up on the wall over here so yeah we've got a fox lamp which is super cool that's one of my favorite things right here this is the mirror of erised and then we've got a little snitch golden snitch clock yep and then uh, a sweet friend of ours gave us a little um, harry potter music box and um the uh, quidditch balls um to display it here and then Dan had this brilliant idea of getting this tree and we're going to fill it with Harry Potter ornaments so it will be a year-round tree it's not just for Christmas just a kind of extra little nod to this room all right so that is the tour we hope you enjoy seeing a little bit behind the scenes of our lives here and what we've been working on in the few months in between 
booking vacations and creating content um, and all of that. Yep, we absolutely adore our house. Um, we're very, very happy here and think that it's coming along very nicely. So we will see you on the next video.